of probation. So how does it feel? Do you feel like it's a loss for the community? I feel like it's a loss to the community because if it was the other way around, he would have got either the death penalty or he would have got like 10 years or something. You know, it's, it's not cool. It's not setting a good example. People already think cops get away free with stuff, so it's like, damn, you know, he didn't get like a tougher sentence, you know, so it's like, damn. You know. What do you, what do you think is going to happen now? Uh, I hope they get everything right, you know, because it's, it's more than TV. They like setting examples for other people because people could be like, okay, man, I could be a cop and whatever discretions I have against another race, I could fulfill that because I'm, if I'm a cop, I'm going to get away with it. You know, I could just say, well, I was scared of him. I thought he was going to make another move or something. So I shot him and that's like my cause of shooting him. But really, that's not setting a good example for people wanting to be cops and that's why cops are getting laid off. And that's why people, there's not a lot of people signing up to be cops because, you know, that's not a good thing for the community. A lot of people don't like cops nowadays, and that's just further the reason why. Do you expect people to come out to Oakland and just fly out? Support the Oscar uh, grant thing? Yeah, I do. I do think that a lot of people are going to come out, and I do think if this is a lot of people trying to suppress it, it will be probably, uh, um, it'll probably be a route or something like that. It is suppressed too much because people want to speak out what they feel, just like this guy is speaking what he's speaking. You feel me? America was built on a freedom of speech, so it's like it seems like when you're trying to speak your freedom of speech, it's always a cop there trying to shut down your voice. So it's like, you know,